In order to troubleshoot the microphone on a Chromebook, the first thing we have to do is make sure that we're updated to the latest version of Chrome OS. In order to do that, I'm going to come down here to where the clock is. I'm going to click that button and I'm going to go ahead and click on settings. From here, I'm going to go down on the left and click on about Chrome OS. So right here, my version is 84. I need to be up to version 85 in order for this to work properly. So first thing I want to do is press check for updates. It may take a minute. And once it says updating your device, you can go ahead and close this. I'm just going to minimize it for now. And you can continue to use your Chromebook as usual. All right, once the updates are applied on your Chromebook, you're going to need to restart. Unfortunately, the Chromebook won't necessarily notify you to tell you this, so you'll need to come back to settings and check to see the status. Updating the OS can take a long time, depending on your internet speed and other factors. Um, so you might want to just keep coming back and check as you're uh, doing other things. Um, once it's ready, it should pop up with a restart button, or you can always come down here and do a power down to restart your computer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit restart uh, and let this one reboot. So now that I've applied my updates and restarted my computer, I'm going to just double check that the updates went through OK by going back to settings and back to about Chrome OS. And here I go. I've got version 85 point whatever. I'm going to just gonna hit check for updates again. Um, and there we go. Your Chromebook is up to date. So we're good there. Now that this Chromebook is finished rebooting, all my updates are applied and I can access my audio settings. I'm going to come down to the clock, pull up this menu. If I need to, I can hit expand. And I'm going to come down here to where my volume slider is. If I hit this little arrow next to it, it'll bring me to audio settings. From here, I can see that I have an output device and an input device. I should see green check marks next to both. And they should both say internal next to them. So here I have microphone internal. Uh, underneath, I can mute my microphone or I can turn up or down my microphone volume. If you're just really soft on Zoom and teachers are having a hard time hearing you, you can try turning this up all the way and see if that helps. Um, if for any reason you have a gray X or it doesn't say microphone internal here or you can't adjust this, this slider or something else seems wrong here, um, what you can do is go to the middle school homepage, scroll down to remote resources, and go ahead and click this link to bring up the student tech support request form. Uh, you just enter your information here, let us know the best way to reach you, and we'll get back to you either with a phone call or an email um, and try to help you solve your problem. Okay, so the next bit of troubleshooting we can do is in the Zoom app itself. If I come down here, I just wiggle my mouse over Zoom to bring up the, the controls. I want to make sure my microphone is not muted. Obviously, if I'm talking, I don't want to be muted. And I also want to make sure I see a little green uh, signal popping up here. That means my microphone is working. Uh, the next thing I can do is hit this little up arrow to get my audio settings. And let's make sure that my device is set correctly. So here you see I have um, same as system default internal mic set. Uh, I also have internal mic, so if it's not working, you could try switching to that. Probably won't help, but you can give it a whirl. Uh, you may also see things like your AirPods or, or uh, plug-in headsets or other things that might have been connected before could show up here. So make sure you have this set correctly. Um, speaker, if you're hearing the Zoom call, you don't got to worry about that, but you can uh, check those settings too. Um, the other thing we can do is two other things. We can switch to phone audio, which is a cool feature. You can actually call into the Zoom. So if you're really having a hard time or if your internet is really like janky and slow, you could call in from another phone. Um, this is helpful if you have like a, a, a wired phone at home or if you want to use um, your phone as well as your Chromebook. Uh, the other thing we can do is go into audio settings. And there's one thing that's kind of useful in here. I can check off automatically adjust microphone volume. What that'll do is kind of listen to my voice and automatically change some of the, um, the levels to try to bring it up if I'm really soft or bring it down if I'm really loud. So that may help um, if teachers are having a hard time hearing you.